everyone, it's Jerry Ann with Scrap and Stamp Creations .blogspot .com. and tonight um, we are doing the 12 cards made from the Chalk It Up collection. I have a request for some sympathy cards as well as some um, encouragement cards, so I'm definitely going to do those. I've picked out some things. I wanted to show you how this paper could definitely be used for that as well, not just school kind of stuff. So um, we're going to go ahead and work on that. I'm going to give you the information that you need. Um, you can find all of a uh, link to my um, website at www.jerryannarmstrong.ctmh.com and the cutting guides for this project are um, on scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com and they are um, on the 2-9, February 9th post. So these are the cutting guides for the class tonight. Alright, we are going to be using, like I said, the Chalk It Up collection, which is X7184B and it comes with 12 pieces of um, cardstock, six of which are pattern paper and six which are full sheets of cardstock. We are also going to be using the Chalk It Up assortment which is Z3009. Cute, cute, cute little, um, little, oh, I want to say they're puffy stickers. That's what they remind me of, puffy stickers. I'm looking for a package of them right now because I have them here somewhere. Show you guys. I don't know. Are they under? They might be under a few things. Oh well. We also are going to use in this collection um, the stamp of the month, which is S1409, and this is called Family is Forever. We're going to use A1146, which is Sincere Expressions. We're going to use B1428, Look to the Light Occasion Stamp Set. These are going to go in the inside, they're scripture reading. We're going to use C1600, which is Happy Birds, which is Nature and Seasons, or Season and Nature. And we're going to use D1584, which is Big Hug. So this will give us more than enough sentiments and everything to use on our projects, or on our cards tonight. Okay? Those are found on page, let me get you to them. Those stamp sets are found on page 96 and 97 of the catalog. Those are where the sentiments are, so you can see exactly what they look like up close and personal. We're going to make this kind of this card. I really these flowers are from this Happy Birds set, so I'm really excited about that. And I just liked the way that the cards looked in this. So I have everything from a six dollar or seven dollar stamp set, six ninety five, all the way up to our large um, D size stamp sets, which are seventeen ninety five. I'm also thinking I'm going to incorporate some of the twist ties, which is Z18 six four into and these are in slate um, into our pieces as well those are left over from a uh, workshop on the go I also may use D1615 which is a hostess reward set which I know Tony is all about she loves this set it's called Swedish Sugar so if you host a party and you have at least $150 in sales you can get this set for 10 bucks normally it's a $17.95 stamp set um, but it's only a, only available via the rewards program. So I think we're going to play with that. I've got some aqua dots. You guys know I'm trying to use up my stash of whatever it is that I have left over. Um, so definitely do that with yours as well. If there's something that you would like to know what it is, let me know. And we'll get started that way. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. We are um, going to be using the... Uh, Make It From Your Heart Volume 2 12 Card Cutting Guide, which is located on my blog over at Jerry Ann, or no, scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com. 
and it is the February 9th, 2014 post. We've used this pattern a lot. I love it, and every time we use it, the cards look completely different. And then a few months ago, we um, created a sorting box because it was just easier, and Martha had a great idea, so we used that in order to do. And this guide is over on Snap Guide, so that you can learn how to do one of these. Um, I'm using my other one for dies, which is really nice. Um, but and then for the other set of cutting guides, I need to get my circles cut and stamped for the back end to do the other way. I have my 12 card bases already cut and folded here in the back. And for the, um, I'm going to set that off to the side as we kind of get our cutting guides. So this is going to be video one for our September card class. This is the random stamp piece of paper. I'm using the aqua dot or the lagoon dots really cute paper on the back is the chalkboard kind of paper but we're going to use the dot side I am not <laughs> for the focal images I have a piece of just white daisy cardstock came in the kit as well for a cardstock number one I'm using the stars side of this paper and this is the one that's got all that school writing. We're just going to use the star side. And then for cardstock piece number two, um, I have the arrows on either side going two different directions. So we'll definitely be able to choose what we're going to use um, for which piece. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut those. So that's that piece. And then for cardstock number three in this, I have a piece of Lagoon. So we're going to go ahead and get started and get these all cut so that we can get to embellishing and creating. All right, so for our random stamp piece, that's this here, I'm using, again, this piece of pattern paper, which is really cute. Our first cut is going to be at five and a half. And then at two and three quarters, this is 19. And you remember we just slip it in our little box because all of our boxes are marked and our pattern goes together. So 19 and at 175, one and three quarters for 23. And then we have rotate this around to four inches. These are all going to be one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So we're going to lose this little itty bitty strip here. We're going to leave that. And so we are going to cut four of these. One, two, three, four. This little piece is extra. These are for card number 21. And then of our four inch wide piece, we're going to cut at two and a half, at one, at one and three quarters, and at one and three quarters. And then this little piece is extra. Okay, so these pieces, this one here is 20, this one here is number 24, this one is 28, and this one here is 28. Okay, we're going to go down to this piece here where we're going to cut our piece at four and a quarter. And we're going to cut at three inches, at one and a half, at two inches, at two and a half, at one and a half, down to four inches, and 
one inch. And this little piece is extra. And then we're going to cut a piece. We're going to cut our zip strip off of here. And this should be two and a quarter, which it is. And we're going to cut at four and a quarter. We're going to save our zip strip because we'll probably use that. Maybe, maybe not. Not on this project. 30, which would be... This is for card number 30, card number 22, card number 25, card number 26, card number 27, card number 29, and card number 24. Okay, that takes care of our random stamp piece, and these are the extra little bits that we have. Any questions on the random stamp piece, um, the very first cut? Are you sure? This is Make It From Your Heart, Volume 2. You'll just have two sets of cards. All right. Piece number two is our focal images, and I'm using White Daisy. Our first cut is at three inches by three and a quarter at two inches at two inches at one and a half, at two and a half, and at 75 by two and a quarter. So this little itty pity piece here is extra. Okay, so this piece is 29, this piece is 27, this piece is 20, this is 19, this is 30, and this is piece 21. So our next cut on our focal image is at two and a half inches, and we have two at two and a half, two and a half. Two and a half. We're going to rotate this to two and a quarter. And we're going to do two and a quarter. And two and a quarter. And then the rest of these little pieces here are extra. And then we're going to cut at two inches. And go to 325, three and a quarter, and 275, two and three quarters, by one and three quarters. This gives us lots of images to be able to cut out um, to finish, because we have this white piece and this large white piece here to use to stamp on and fussy cut. So this is 22 and 24, 28 and 23, this piece is extra which will be perfect for one of those flower pieces. This is number 25 and this is 26. So there is our focal images. Our next piece that we're cutting are the stars. And our first cut is at four inches. This is cardstock number one. So the very first one is at four inches. 
by five and a quarter. The next one is at three and a quarter. And then this piece needs to be three inches by three and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that down. Three and a half, three and a half, that way, by three. The next one is three and a half inches by two inches by four and a half inches. And then we're going to cut a piece at two and a half inches. Now we're going to cut this piece down to one and a quarter. And then we're going to cut each of these at one and a quarter twice. One, two, one, two, and then we have a couple of extra pieces right here. And then this is three and a quarter by two and a quarter. This is an extra piece. And then last we have four and a half, which basically takes the zip strip and three and a quarter at two and a half. This piece needs to be three and three quarters long, so this little tail end here is extra. Then we need to cut at uh, two inches, and then we're cutting at three inches, so that gives us a one and a half by two and a three by two. And then we're going to cut at two and three quarters. All right, so these little pieces right here are extra. I'm going to just pile them over here on my little extra pile. Okay, so these are the star pieces. Cardstock number one that we chose. This is for card 20. This is for card number 24. Card number 30, extra. Card number 19, card number 29. These are for card number 21. Card number 27, number 22, number 26, number 25, number 23, and this little piece for 19. So that takes care of cardstock number one. All right, our next piece is cardstock number two, and the best part about this piece is these arrows go up and down, and the arrows on the other side go sideways. So we can flip these over depending on how we want our arrows to work when we are putting these together. So I love that idea. All right, our first cut is going to be, let's take our zip strip off. And what we're going to do is cut with our arrows going this way on this sheet of paper. So the arrows are going this way. We are going to cut at five and a half. We're going to rotate around and cut at two. And this is going to make the arrows go sideways or up and down on the back. So that's fine. 
and at three quarter. We're going to cut at four and a quarter inches. And that goes across the top there. These are one and a quarter then, and we need four of them. One, two, three, four. This little piece here is extra, it goes over in the corner. We're going back to our piece that's now four and a quarter wide, and we're going to cut at one inch. We're going to cut at one and a quarter. We're going to cut one, two, three, four at three quarters of an inch. One, two, three, four. We're going to cut at a half an inch. And then we have one and a half inches by four inches is our last one of these pieces. So this little piece is extra and then this piece here is extra. Okay? The only other piece we need is out of this we need to cut a two and three quarter by two and three quarter square. These are extra as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut or slip these in our sorter. This is number Oh, you know what? I missed a cut right here, 23B, and if I'd rid my directions while I was cutting, I would have saved a little more paper, but we'll go back and get that one. That one's 23, this is 25, this is number 26, this one is 22, these two are 27. This one is 29. We have 30 for the half inch piece. Uh, 20 for the three quarter inch piece. 28. These little pieces are number 21. And this big piece is number 24. And let's see. We need a piece that is a half an inch by five and a half inches long. And this is 23. Okay. <laughs> I know, that's why I do cutting guides so that you get 12 cards you're not wasting your paper. It works really well. And finally, our last piece is cardstock number three, which is our lagoon. And our first cut in this is at five and a half. And three quarters is our first cut. Now we're going to cut this down to four and a quarter. It's an extra piece. And we're going to cut at three quarters, at one inch. At a half an inch. At one inch. And then we're going to cut this down to three quarters, 
or no, 225, two and a quarter, one by two and a quarter, and then we're going um, three quarters by three quarters. That's for 19. I'm going to stick that in there so we don't lose him. We have a half an inch. And then one and a half. And one and a quarter. And then out of this last little piece, we need a two and a half by two and a half. All right, and this is remaining to help us build our cards, stamp our sentiments, do all kinds of fun things. So this piece here is for card number 28. One, uh, the seven, the three quarters is for 22. The one inch is for 26. The half an inch is for 29. We already put the 19 in there. This little one is 21. These are 23. And this is 28. So that's cardstock number three. So that is um, our petting all done. Put in our sorting box for our um, to make our cards. So this is the end of video number one for those of you who are watching the video. I'm excited. We got all that cut. We're ready now to move on to our decorating and everything with video number two. You can find all of the products that I used over on scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com or you can go to my Close to My Heart website which is www.jerryannarmstrong.ctmh.com. Thanks for joining me.